About 1.45 in the morning, uh, the front window got smashed. Uh, and we assume it was a group of people based on how many guitars they took. They took about 16 guitars through the front door. Uh, police showed up about 10 minutes later, uh, or within 10 minutes, and they were long gone by that point. So it, the, the number that I saw was about $27,000 retail's worth of, of gear. Um, as far as distinguishing features, they're, they're brand new guitars, right? They're, they're 20, a lot of them were 2015 models, uh, or there was a 2014 and a 2016 model of Gibsons and a bunch of the 2015 model Epiphone stuff. Uh, but on our Facebook account, uh, we have really uh, detailed pictures of everything, and we've got lists of all the serial numbers if somebody wanted to have that stuff. Uh, as far as getting it back, I really doubt we'll get it back. If I'm going to be a realist, it's there. I think those guitars are long gone. We can hope for the best, but you know, I, I can't see it coming back anytime soon. It's frustrating right now because uh, there's a lot of upfront costs in, in starting a music store. We've only been open since May. So, you know, just putting guitars on the walls is expensive. That's a huge expense. Uh, and then, so having to replace that is frustrating. Having to go through insurance and dealing with the, deduct the deductible we'll have to have, that's an expense that we, we didn't necessarily plan for this year. Uh, having to deal with the, the uh, having to deal with insurance to deal with getting the repair people to fix the glass that they broke. Uh, it, it's mostly at this point, it's just frustrating. You know, if you're looking for positives, because you have to find a silver lining, nobody that matters got hurt. Uh, nobody, because we do a lot of used guitars and we have a lot of consignment pieces, no consignment pieces got stolen, so no repair part, no repair got stolen, so no customer's guitars got stolen, it's just our stuff. So at the end of the day, it's just frustrating and just dealing with insurance and having to deal with all that, those aspects of it. It's just, it's just going to be frustrating more than anything else right now.